Hi, my name is Merle K. Jackson, but you can call me Jack for short. I won't go through my whole intro. So, Love Core. What is Love Core? Love Core is defined by the Aesthetics Wiki as an aesthetic based on the visual culture of manufactured romance and affection. Popular motifs include hearts, boxes of chocolates, lipstick, love letters, cupid, angels, and the colors red and pink. Basically, it's the Valentine's Day aesthetic, which I really love. I've always really liked that. I will put pictures all around me as examples throughout the entire video. There are also at times vintage elements present in the form of old scans of Valentine's Day cards from the 50s and 60s, or modern art as inspired by those old Valentine's Day cards. Personally, I love the vintage twist on it. When it comes to love core, there is some overlap with anime core in the form of pink manga edits and screenshots of anime characters with hearts in their eyes. It's very common to see love core edits around Valentine's Day of any particular character or celebrity that a person who's into the love core aesthetic likes with hearts all around them and pink and red colors everywhere. When it comes to the anime side of this though, content got more intense as well as more anime centric and eventually led to a subcategory of love core called yandere core and if you know what yandere is, this is a completely different thing. Since love core itself tends to focus on the aesthetic that has come from the commercialization of love through Valentine's Day and marketing, as well as a wholesome celebration of love, the darker aspects of yandere core, because again, if you know what a yandere is, then you already know that that's getting darkened into like gory murder territory. It's more macabre and erotic aspects have split it off into a subcategory while love core remains wholesome and mainly aesthetically driven, as opposed to yandere kind of being more narratively driven since it tends to be more centered around a, a type of character, let's say. Love Core originated on Tumblr, but it can be found across all social media sites, especially Pinterest. Pinterest is really just the best place to look for examples of any specific aesthetic. Basically, Valentine's Day cards, love notes, hearts, red and pink, all that kind of stuff is all a part of Love Core, but I also like to add stuffed animals like these ones because they have to do so much with Valentine's Day. I mean, how cute is this? Or my little Squishmallow cat that I got a couple years ago that has this different shades of pink and the little hearts in the corner here. I think my flamingo is also kind of love core -y. Look how fluffy! I probably should have worn a more love core type outfit today, but I did yesterday and I will insert pictures of that. This is just kind of more what I wear on a daily basis. When it comes to fashion, love core, of course, includes a lot of red and pink as well as a lot of vintage elements. Though, when it comes to the fashion, there as of late has been a lot of mixing with Y2K fashion, which I also think is really cute. But me personally, I like to link love core to a more vintage fashion. You'll also see a mix of lingerie or lingerie inspired clothing with lots of angel wings and angel motifs all calling back to Cupid, satin dresses, lots of satin, and in general, just tons of hearts everywhere, all of the hearts, so many hearts. These tend to be a more soft sort of pastel fashion. Subgenres of lovecore include pagano lovecore, which focuses more on the iconography of love in Greco-Roman mythology and the Italian Renaissance rather than the Christian tradition, which is where Valentine's Day comes from, because of course Saint Valentine is a saint. <laughs> and this is more fixated on the Greco-Roman gods and goddesses, likely because of the Cupid connection. I just realized the Cupid connection sounds like one of those old dating sites from when online dating first started. Think old beautiful statues, doves, the ancient love poetry, and other things from ancient Rome and Greece, with lots of mentions and nods to Aphrodite, Eros, Adonis, and other love deities. This can also easily overlap with dark academia because of the focus on mythology, specifically Greek mythology. Another subgenre is Shakespearean love core, which is basically taking this same idea, but then interpreting it through more of a Shakespearean lens. Due to the common portrayal of romance in Shakespeare's works, there's often a somberness and an element of tragedy to this particular brand of love core. So it does actually break off from the more wholesome attitude that love core generally has. Common motifs include poetry, antique furniture, dresses, literature, forbidden love or tragic love, and are often depicted in the time period of the plays. Of course, the time period has a big influence on it. Italian architecture in particular has a big influence on the subgenre of love course, specifically because of Romeo and Juliet taking place in Verona. Architecture in general tends to come up a lot in Shakespearean love core. Finally, there is also Victorian love core which, like the last two, is basically just the idea of lovecore, 
but interpreted through the lens of these different specific time periods or ideas. And Victorian lovecore often focuses on the often macabre romantic aesthetic of the era. Personally, I love the Victorian era because of the big boom of spiritualism, so you get all that great spooky stuff in there. I think a great way to use Victorian lovecore is to talk about how Halloween basically used to be like a day for lovers in Victorian times. They would do things like dripping candle wax in a bowl of cold water and whatever shape it dried in was the first letter of your true love's name. Stuff like that, that it was more kind of witchy and spiritual, but still had to do with love. So I think that that's a really interesting crossover. But in general, the main aesthetic of Lovecore has to do with our modern interpretation of Valentine's Day. So if you see a bunch of hearts, if you see red and pink, if you see Cupid and love notes and Valentine's Day cards and candy and stuffed animals and chocolates and heart-shaped boxes of chocolates and little heart arrows and just tons of stuff that seems super Valentine's day E in general, it's lovecore. And I think it's super cute. I even have some decorations up in my room that I've bought around several different Valentine's Day days that are kind of lovecore E. Just as fun for decoration. This is the first of several videos in a series where I talk about different aesthetics that I like that maybe aren't as well known, but that you've definitely probably seen somewhere. And if you could just put a word to it, then you would know how to look it up and how to further enjoy it. And Lovecore is the first. Alright, that's it for today!